Harmony is the study of chords and how notes work together. And on this channel, we do a lot of, of major and natural minor because that covers a lot of the music that you probably want to play. This lesson is about the harmonic minor scale, which goes like this. So if you know the natural minor scale, which is definitely one of the most common bass scales to learn, you know, responsible for, for bass lines like... and a gorilla's bass line. And gorillas is topical because I was working out one of their latest ones called Cracker Island and Thundercat's on bass and it's like... Some insane fills and it's all harmonic minor. So luckily for us, it's exactly the same as the natural minor, just with a raised seven, a major seven in there. So G sharp, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A. And harmony on the bass is all about working out the arpeggios that are formed on each of those degrees of the scale. That's what this lesson is all about. You get some very interesting ones. So the first one, you get an A, minor major seven and we're put we're putting a seventh in each time we're doing first note third note fifth note seventh note of the scale so you know a c e g sharp you played as a chord a very james bond style of chord it's just a different harmony it's a different sound it's a different vibe also for bass players very good for your fingers very good for technique the second chord, we're on B, B half diminished, or B minus seven flat five. Another interesting one coming up, C major seven, but it's got an augmented fifth. I'll explain that in a minute. So it's notated, or rather it's symbolized with like a C, a plus. The plus refers to the fifth, which is raised or augmented. So a, a normal perfect fifth, as it would be called, is a G. Raise that, that's an augmented fifth. You get another really cool sound. Yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful, C augmented major seven. There it is, the augmented referring to that five. Then D, we've got a nice, easy, simple D minor seven. Each of these arpeggios has a mode underneath it, which is not for this lesson. I'll just I'll do one another time on that. But the mode under this one is a Dorian with a with a sharp force. It's so cool. Listen to this. I love the sound of that. It's really really cool. Like I say, onto that in the next lesson. But if you want to work it out yourself in practice, you're starting on a D. Just play all the notes of of the key starting on D. So it can be D. E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, D. So you can figure it out that way. And we get this big minor third jump. And that's what makes this scale sound so interesting. So we've got D minor seven. Then my two favorite chords within this, we've got a an E dominant seventh. And then an F major seven. This is the, if you know these arpeggios, this is like a normal major seventh, you know, with that perfect fifth. And I love cycling between these two things. And this is one way of practicing this, is to make up different bass lines from this, you know. This is just the sound of flamenco music, this. You know, the chord underlying notes I just love the I love what this scale does that the other ones don't then from the F major 7 we've got a big old minor third leap to a G sharp where we have a diminished seventh arpeggio which is really easy to play on the bass because the intervals between all the notes in that are a minor third which is the distance of three frets on one string or you go two frets down and one string higher. And if you know those patterns. You 
can find the patterns everywhere on the base. So that's it. You get this set of seven arpeggios and you get an unusual, if you're used to sort of normal scales, then you're used to, or rather you're not used to, the minor major seven one, the augmented major seven one, and then, you know, we won't talk about the modes, but there's some interesting stuff going on under there. But what I would do to practice this is make music from it. So you've got the scale. And there I'm just almost trying to be a flamenco guitarist. You know, we've got similarities with, with them because they play pizzicato, index middle, a lot of the time. And then you can move around the arpeggios, and I've got a PDF for you, you can download it. You can, you can even just play, you know, we did root, third, fifth, seventh. Why not just root, third? And again, it sounds very flamenco because I'm trying to make it sound that way. You can take three arpeggios maybe. Let's do E7, F major 7 to D minor 7. I think when I was younger, I used to, I used to just go up and down arpeggios, learning that's the one, that's the two, that's the three, this one's a... And I was a bit too serious about things, in my own opinion anyway. And that's why I urge everyone now just to, to make music. Let's just say that you, you, you don't get all of this, but you got the first one. Maybe that's it. Why don't you just make music from that one? Very good for the fingers there. Three, so four, three, two, and then you've got the scale underneath it. So there are a million and one ways that you can practice this, but why don't you for now just download the PDF and familiarize your hands with the new shapes and your ears with the new sounds. And as I said before, try and make some music with this. It's just a fun thing to do. This is in one key, of course, you can move it around to different keys and the exact same order of these arpeggios is going to be the same. I will undoubtedly do more lessons on this as well as the melodic minor and also applications in real bass playing because that's the point of all this stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. Do leave a comment if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.